game from Ultra. First, you gotta find them. Then, if you're up to the challenge, you gotta get them in range. And if you're good enough, you'll put them on the ocean floor and live to tell about it. Find them, chase them, sink them in Ultra's silent service. The submarine simulation for Nintendo that puts you in command. What's up, cyberpunks and retro nerds? Welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. I'm your lovable host, Tommy the Hammer. Today, in our solo flight review, we're going to be taking a dive into the nautical world that is submarine exploitation. And what is submarine exploitation? Well, it is a phrase that I just made up today. There really is no submarine exploitation. I guess you could say that we're going to be diving into military exploitation movies, more specifically, the film Full Fathom 5. And this is a submarine movie. From what I read online, there's a lot of people, especially military personnel, that think this movie is utter crap. A lot of the things in this movie don't float if you catch my drift. Well, we're going to be touching on that here later on in the review, but first I thought we would also take a dive into the old 8-bit Nintendo and check out the submarine video game Silent Service. And uh, I've never actually played this game back in the day, it didn't really speak to me, I mean I was a kid that was more into Ninja Turtles, Ninja Gaiden, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers, things of that nature. So today we're going to be checking this out. We're going to be kicking things off with the old silent service. Stick with me, motherfuckers. I know you're not going to want to miss this one. <laughs> Scratch that. I actually know who this game is for. Back in the day, in the 1980s and early 1990s, the Nintendo Entertainment System um, was immensely popular, and it was kind of the game console for the whole family. So, whereas kids would typically play things like Super Mario Brothers and Ninja Turtles, the parents, namely the father of the household, would play games like Silent Motherfucking Service. I don't know. I don't feel like I can really rate this game fairly because it's not my cup of tea. It's very in-depth, there's a lot going on in terms of an 8-bit Nintendo game, but without the instruction manual and flying blind into this game, I felt like, you know, that was it. I was flying blind into a very rudimentary submarine game that's only 8-bit. So. The sound itself wasn't all that great, but I guess the overall execution was about as good as it could be. There's a lot of features. You could check out the dials and knobs and uh, everything that's inside of a submarine. You could check out the periscope. I thought it was kind of cool that on the map, when you would approach the other submarine, you could kind of align yours in its sight and lob missiles at it. And as you guys saw, I took down a ship, so without actually knowing anything about this game or how to play it, I think I did pretty damn good. Um, out of 10 stars, I could give the old 8-bit Nintendo's Silent Service, 
I'm going to go a flat six, and that's room to grow, because if I had the instruction manual, and who knows, maybe later on I'll look up how to actually play this game and give it another whirl, it might be fun. Maybe I'm missing something on the overall execution, but for now, this is definitely not a game that you just pick up and play on the go. So guys, with that being said, let's move on to tonight's feature. You know this one? It's called... Oh no, Full Fathom 5. You guys know this routine. Check out that trailer. Peep that shit, motherfuckers, and when we get back, you guys are gonna know my opinion on the movie. We'll be right back, motherfuckers. With Full Fathom 5. Cloud Bridge, I have them in sight. The US Navy is caught in a struggle to maintain control in a war-torn land. Prepare to die, Mr. Lassivik. A country faced with a threat as real as today's headline. But rebel forces are sabotaging both military powers. Look around you. You're surrounded. You will surrender your ship. Any attempt to engage the Kirov will launch her missiles. Nuclear blackmail. They're launching a deadly offensive that strikes without warning. We have become a major world power. And their sights are set on one target, the United States. If our demands are not respected, millions will die. Now it's a race against time to stop a nuclear disaster. Tell them that they just got one hour before we launch. If we're going to go after the Kirov, it's for all the marbles. All systems go later. Let's find our sub. In a recent Retailer's Choice promotion, retailers nationwide selected not one, but two submarine action movies as their top choices. Destination Tokyo and Torpedo Run. We have to get Kira off at the first shot. Captain, sabotage. And with the recent popularity of underwater action adventure films, Full Fathom 5 will be a surefire hit with your customers. We must be coming after us. Let's draw them to us. Battle stations. Hang on tight for a suspense thriller starring Michael Moriarty. Let's calm down to the end of Houston, Texas. Full speed ahead for a gripping death race beneath the sea. Decoys Full Fathom, emergency dig. Fire back! Fire away! It's full speed ahead. Fire. Full Fathom 5. Oh man, was this ever a stinker of a fucking film. I knew this was going to be kind of bad going into it, especially since the reviews that I had read online weren't very favorable. But, I don't know, there's a part of you that goes, huh, maybe it won't be so bad. And then the movie goes, hey, I'm really that fucking bad. Fat Fathom 5 really fucking sucks. Um, but there are some things about the movie that I kind of enjoyed. And with this movie here, there's a lot of dark cinematography, a lot of gloomy underwater uh, scenes. And the music itself is actually pretty good. It's really synth heavy and it really kind of full sends this dark military vibe that the overall film is kind of going for. And it's kind of ironic to say that I am not going to take a deep dive about a movie that takes a deep dive with a submarine. But you know what? With such a thin premise and bad characters and a very ho-hum presentation, it's easy to see why. Because this movie is really the pits. Out of 10 stars, I could only give the movie Full Fathom 5 maybe... I'm going to go... I'm going to sink as low as a fucking flat four. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. There's some competent acting and there's definitely some interesting um, cinematography and the music is key to this film because actually I would actively seek out the soundtrack. But outside of that guys, this movie is about as boring as it fucking gets. I hope I've been informative motherfuckers until the next time, tune in to Neon Motherfucking Trash.